but you know I got everything for one dollar one dollar one dollar one dollar parked outside my Salvation Army store. I have so much to do today but I haven't been thrifting in a week and I thought I have to come. I have to come at least for an hour or two and see if my favorite promotion is on. Buy five for under five dollars and get them all for a dollar each. So five for five. I hope it's on. I really really do because if it's not I'm just gonna lose my mojo. I know it. And I also want to go and visit that that lady that was outside the Salvo the other time where I found those amazing vintage jeans. I want to go see what she's got because I always manage to find a piece or two from her. So enough rambling from me. Let's go. I still have not finished my coffee. I don't know how I am going to drink my coffee and film at the same time, but somehow I will manage. I'm so hopeless, you guys. Look what I did. I spilled coffee all over my beautiful top now I just feel disgusting and I feel like I just want to go home and change but I'm not I'm just gonna continue so with the coffee stained shirt we shall go I've still got a little bit of coffee left too you guys that little lady isn't here today she's not here she's here every Friday and she's not here today what a shame okay we're going in to the Salvation Army Let's hope that the promotion's on. Shoes are half price. Let's have a look. You guys, there's nothing in shoes. It's not really even worth me showing you, but bags are half price as well. So let's have a quick little look. little clutch but I don't think white tags are half price so that's ten dollars cute but no okay let's move on to the clothes okay you guys this is the deal it was not five for five it was only half price clothing but they just announced that they're running the promotion the five for five because they are so overstocked they need to get rid of clothes so I mean how lucky am I a, five of five, and B, they are so overstocked, meaning I have so much to look through, meaning I may find a, a plethora of treasures. So let's get started because I did not bring my extra battery and I don't want to run out. You guys, I'm in the women's larger size tops. I mean, look how full these racks are. This is why it's so hard for me to film sifting through them. So I'll just show you them as I find them. All right, you guys, I found a few tops. I'm in the very last section of tops, size 20 women's tops. You know my cardinal rule when it comes to thrifting is that no size is off limits. So 
there is enough room for me to sift through this rack and I will hopefully find a treasure to show you just why you must look in every single size range when you thrift. This is vintage. I hope you can hear me. It is so busy and noisy in here. Okay, this is a very large blouse, but how cute would this be as a dress with some boots? Oh no, no, no. It's going to be too sheer. I mean, you could wear a slip dress underneath, but oh my god, it's vintage. It's so hard for me to pass up on vintage, but I am. Okay, this is vintage also, and it seems to be the same brand as the other one. Another very large size blouse. I think I like the print of this more. I really love the chocolate and the subtle hints of lilac. I might just try this one on because it's vintage and I don't know, it's really pretty. It is sheer, but I would wear this maybe as a blouse if it's not too sheer. Just something very oversized. This little blouse jacket I'm not really sure but I like the muted tones and I thought maybe that would look cute as a jacket next up is this vintage blouse I thought perhaps a nice oversized flowy top this is a short sleeve knit top which I do like short sleeve knit tops I think they're a great basic it's in a very pale pink and I do love very pale pale pinks I don't really wear the more deeper tones of pinks so I thought perhaps that might look cute then I found this RM Williams gingham shirt but inside the gingham there's this tiny little embroidery diamond little shape I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up but I thought I could give that a try. And then in the men's, I found this muscle tank top. I just absolutely love the color, but I've got a feeling it's gonna be huge. And then I found this graphic tee that says Santa Monica. And because I've been to Santa Monica and stayed in Santa Monica, LA, I just thought I could try it on. And it's um, in this peachy color. Alrighty, so I can't say that I'm really too in love with anything that I've found so far, but you never know when you try them on, they may just wow me. Okay, what we have left is longer sleeve tops and knits, and then dresses, and then we're done. You guys, I also forgot that I have bottoms to go through, pants and skirts, and I found a pair of pants in the size 12 range. They're vintage, but I'm not sure. Let me show you. So these are the pants. They're by Toronto Australia. They're 450, so they come in under the promotion, but I'm not sure. Oh, there's a few pulls on the fabric. And you know what? No. All right, you guys, I found a pair of Miller's vintage crop pant in this creamy tan kind of color. It's coming out a lot more pale on the camera but it's more warmer so I don't know there's no size but it's in the size 12 so I'll give it a try okay these are a pair of blue trousers in a pastel blue elastic waist there's no label in there though but they look vintage so I'm gonna try them on all right you guys I found this beautiful skirt in the size 14 range look at this label it says some days loving but it's a vintage some days loving which is a really beautiful brand it's going to be too big and too long for me but i think it is such a beautiful skirt for my shop so that is a treasure find just gorgeous okay i found these shorts that look like linen or a cotton linen blend possibly with a very soft white pinstripe they're in the size 12 range. They're quite cute with a little cuff. I think I'm gonna try them on because I love Bermuda shorts. All right, you guys, this is vintage Miller's. It's a pretty blouse, but 
The fabric is quite, quite different. It's a polyester, but it's very stiff. It's not going to tuck in nicely. Not really sure about this ruffle at the front or really the print. And it is sheer. I'm going to leave that one. All right, you guys, this is my basket for the finds that we're going to try on. But first, this is my little outfit of the day. My hat is from Rip Curl, Byron Bay. It was a cute little sal find that I found, a little Baker Boy cap. I think it's really cute. I've got a lot of regrowth at the moment, so it's covering that. This striped knit I found last week, thrifted. And look at this coffee stain, my God. I'm such a klutz. Okay, these are my Levi's balloon jeans, which I got from Depop. They were tight on me because they're a size 27 and they're very high-waisted, but because I've lost a bit of weight, they fit really comfortably now. But if I gain weight, they're just too uncomfortable because they hurt my ribs and I'll probably have to sell them. And on my feet, my Kate Spade white loafers. I love these so much. Okay, so I found this shirt in the ladies section, but I think it's a men's shirt and I was thinking of wearing it as a little duster jacket. It's a beautiful yellow with a white pinstripe, but it's just way too big. So no to this. This is that maxi skirt that was a size 14, but I've cinched in the drawstring waist and it even fits me, but I mean, it's just so long on me. I didn't expect this to be sheer, so I think this is a beachy kind of cover-up. I'm not sure whether to get this for my shop or not. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile because it is really pretty. Okay, these are the shorts that had absolutely no label. I mean, they fit okay, they're not too big, but I think these feel a little dated. I don't like this pleat here at the front. I don't like this waistband and the buttons. They have pockets and they're a nice length, but they just look really dated to me, so this is a no. How good do these fit me? And just a beautiful color, they just Hit me at the right length on the ankle. Elastic waist. Have no clue who these are by. There's no label. I need to take my top out because it doesn't really allow for too much thickness in the pant. But I think these are really cute. I think I'm going to take these. They're a nice classic fit in a beautiful colour. And I do love pale pastel blue with black and white stripe. Such a gorgeous combination. Okay, these are a yes. Okay, these are the vintage miller's capri pants but look at this waist it's just stretched out or something otherwise they would have been cute no no these are a no okay this is the graphic tee i'm not sure i'm into it i don't like this part why couldn't it just have santa monica los angeles no no not into it look i love this color and i love the print i think it's awesome but this drop armhole i just can't do that the only time i could do this is if i was at the beach you know with some denim cutoffs and my cosy underneath otherwise i'm not going to wear it but i love the color it's a gorgeous color okay this is a maybe okay so this is the rm williams gingham shirt and you know how expensive rm williams is for you non-australians it's a very iconic australian western brand i would say and it's real expensive. But this is really nice because it's a 14, it fits oversized and it's really classic. So I like this. Yeah, this is the kind of pink that I wear. It's so, so muted that it's almost just, just pink. And it's a little cap sleeve knit. And I like the way this is fitting on me. A little front tuck or a full tuck if the jeans were just a little bit lower. I don't know. I really like this. I like the texture on the knit too. So I'm going to get this one. I've just tucked the bulk of it underneath my bra and I love this neckline. This is such a pretty top, you guys. You know, I was really iffy about it when I picked it up, but now I'm in love. I love it. I love it. It's so cute. So this is the vintage duster jacket and it looks really cute with the pink top, right? It has shoulder pads, just little ones. But I'm not really sure about this, you guys. I am not sure. No, I don't think this is me. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm very undecided about this. Okay, I'll put this in the maybe pile. 
This one is the size 20 vintage blouse. This one also has shoulder pads, which I do not like. But I mean, it doesn't look too bad, right? As a really flowy, oversized blouse. This would look really cute paired with blue denim because brown and blue just love each other and then the blue would pick up the little violet hue in the blouse. And you could just wear it loose and flowy like this. Take out the shoulder pads and it's quite pretty. I'm not sure about this one either. It's vintage. <laughs> Alrighty you guys, I got five items for five dollars. Seriously, it's it's like they're giving it away. There's no other place that you can thrift one dollar finds like this than you can here where I live in my little hometown of Tukli. So I'm happy. Let's go to the car and I'll show you guys what I ended up taking. Oh my god, it's starting to rain. How lucky am I to get that done just in time? And I am also starving and I need to pee so let me show you guys what I managed to find I don't know why I always clap am I in kindergarten no but it's still that child in me that just loves to clap all right okay the first thing I got was this mambo graphic muscle tank I really really like the color what can I say it's just beautiful and I thought you know what I am a coastal girl I do travel a lot I will wear it with my cozy underneath I just love this this blue and the graphic it kind of feels like vintage because it says what does it say it says somewhere yeah mambo deadly cool since 1984 so that's why I really liked it I think it's cute it's mambo made in Australia it was a size medium and well it was tagged at three dollars but you know I got everything for one dollar one dollar one dollar one dollar okay the next piece I took was this beautiful cap sleeve knit I love this do you see the texture on that maybe if I put it close to the camera you'll see it do you see that beautiful texture this knit I think is just so sweet I love this pink it's just a barely there pink and I love the neckline and the cap sleeve and that it's a knit this is by Wombat it's a size medium and it's hundred percent cotton so they tagged this one at 350 so even at 350 it would have been a great buy I also ended up taking the blue trousers that fit me like perfectly but you can't really tuck anything in because it will just show through the fabric is that vintage polyester that is just so good that's all I know about it because I just know my fabrics but there is no tag no tag at all and this was tagged at four dollars I really like these pants they are really really cute the next item I ended up taking was the RM Williams gingham shirt I just think this was too good to leave there you know like I mean this shirt would retail at about 160 bucks I would say gingham is classic it never dates I love that it's oversized because it was a size 14 it's a hundred percent cotton made in Australia I mean just awesome awesome quality and they had this one tagged at four dollars so they obviously don't know who the hell RM Williams is and the final piece in this haul that I ended up taking was the some days loving with the vintage label I mean I have a few modern pieces of some days loving and the the label is completely different this is a vintage label or maybe they had a vintage range I don't know maybe one of you guys can tell me but it was just a beautiful long maxi skirt with a drawstring waist it has little beading on the drawstring it even fit me even though it's tagged at a size 14 but it is quite sheer as I mentioned the fabric if I can find it where is the fabric composition on this where is it it's got to be here somewhere no it's not anywhere okay I would say it's a cotton polyester blend that's my educated guess so they had this one tagged at four dollars also so I think that is a beautiful piece and who knows I may end up keeping it for myself so five beautiful items for five dollars is just unbeatable if you ask me that's why I love coming to these salvos you see me film here a lot because 
the prices are unbeatable. I mean, why would I go to Vinnie's and pay minimum $8 a piece when I can come here, thrift to my heart's content, where they stock so much vintage and when more often than not, you can grab pieces for $1, my friends. Alrighty, you guys, that is the end of this thrift with me, the end of this haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I really hope I see you guys in my next one.